everybody, Chris here. So this is a follow-up video. Explain my markings there. A is I want to add some B72 to just the top of the hammer, the attack, and not where it soaks in to uh, manipulate the power. Um, so like uh, this note, these two notes, it's got power. It's just that the attack sounds uh, mushy. And so I'll compare these two notes. This note was really good to this one that I think it needs the attack. So I, that's how I test a note, is I'm testing the attack. And I'm testing the hardness as it gets harder towards the molding. And uh, in the previous video, I was uh, fixing that forte, where when I get louder, there'd be no forte there. And I've got some notes here. Uh, that need that but the a See it's got power But the note has a see That mushy sound it's almost like it's uh, the dampers hitting the string, but it's not See how that one's cleaner That one has a muted sound that's that's the tip of the hammer same with that one and It's got power so does that one. That's what I want right there. That one's a little more, that one's muted right there. So let me put an A on that one. Okay, so how this has got power. And that doesn't. I'm hitting it harder and harder, but it only goes up to a medium level, and it, and it doesn't go above that. Yeah. And how, how much louder that got when I wanted it to. That one doesn't. So that's the case with all these P's. And right here is a neat case. Uh, here, these notes got power, but the attack is mushy. So I'm just going to add to the top of those hammers. And then the whole bass section b72 from the top all the way down to the molding and that hopefully will get me into the range right now the piano sounded pretty good we're just nitpicking here is what we're doing so just trying to balance it out and find the ones that uh, have a little bit of issues and fix those issues now i'm going to add b72 this is a four grams in eight ounces of alcohol mixture and yeah, just go in I've kind of gone to these pipettes um uh, starting to like these better than those hypo oilers Those things always clog up on me over time. Okay, I have one note right here that is, um, I want to fix the attack and give it a little more power. So this, I'm going to use my weakest solution, which is uh, four grams in a 32 ounce mixture, and just go right there, just like that, just to the, just to the molding. Okay, so the base section, I'm going to use the my weakest solution, which is 432, and uh, that way I can add a little crispness to the attack, crispness, not Christmas, crispness, and uh, give it more power, and hopefully after this uh, run through, it'll kind of equalize to the rest of the other sections, so... Here we go, 432. Then I just soak it till it goes down to the molding. Right there. And I'll do the same thing all the way to the whole base section. This is my weakest solution. I've already done this once uh, between the videos. And uh, this 432, doing it like this in the base section, had a nice, nice little effect. 
So I think uh, this one might just do it. I was kind of thinking about doing the 416, but I, I think the 432 is going to take me there. So we'll see. Just like that. There. Okay, so I'm going to finish off this base section and then uh, I'll come back when I'm about ready to start on the other section. Okay, I'm on the next section, these three notes, I just want to do the attack and not add power. So I'm just going to do right on the strike line. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, that should do it. This is a uh, four eight. All right, and there's a couple other notes here. I want to do four eight on. Okay, I'm in the upper break here. And again, just the attack. And this one, I can see the string grooves. So one, two, three. Uh, this one, one, two, three. Two, three. Skip three and four here. One, two, three, four. Oops. All right. Whatever. And that should take care of the attack. Now I'm going to put the action on the side and build more power. All right. And then we'll, we'll see how this sounds tomorrow. Did a lot of different procedures on this one. Just building it up slowly. Fixing the problems. You'd be surprised what B72 does on these cold pressed hammers when you apply it in the right places, the right mixtures. Well, the reason I use B72 instead of lacquer, which I used to use in the old days, is there's a distinct characteristic that's not very desirable with lacquer and that's it's it's really super brittle i suppose it just adds a ping that you always have to just get rid of that ping and it seems to cause more trouble than it's worth b72 it must be softer and uh, it can harden stuff but it doesn't doesn't make them ping so you get a, a nice clean tone throughout the dynamic range. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching.